to procedure turn or not to procedure turn? This is the question both students and advanced IFR pilots alike find themselves asking, all too often much later in the approach than ideal. Using the GPS can actually add complications to this question, so let's iron out some tricky details early on. We're on the en route phase of our flight into Chippewa Valley, going direct to the codes fix. We're told by ATC to expect the ILS for runway 22. They don't mention a transition at this time. Let's look at where the initial approach fixes are for the ILS. There are three of them. One is the IROC fix, which is also the intermediate fix for the approach. There's a hold in lieu of procedure turn depicted there. The other two are Durden and Menard, which are situated about 90 degrees off the final approach course. Each of these fixes has a notation, no PT. If we arrive at one of these initial approach fixes, we won't be doing the course reversal depicted at IROC, but we'll just turn straight in. Note that there's also a feeder route from the Eau Claire VOR to IROC. This doesn't mean Eau Claire is a fourth initial approach fix, but if our flight route had us going to the VOR, we might expect to fly the feeder route and do the course reversal at IROC as our initial. So coming from the south like we are, we could expect the approach to begin at either Menard or IROC. At this point, it might be best to clarify or ask for a specific transition, but if not, we'll need to guess. Let's load the approach. We'll hit PROC, then enter for select approach. We'll use the large outer knob on the right side to scroll to the ILS-22 and hit enter. This is where we select the transition. Let's pick Menard, the fix that leads into IROC and has no PT, and we'll just load it for now. This is keeping us on our en route leg still, as we haven't been instructed to make any turns yet. Here's what the procedure looks like on the GPS. Starts at Menard, goes to IROC on a 317 course, then turns left to 227, the final approach course towards Hilpo, the FAF. There's no course reversal programmed in, as this transition has that no PT notation. Later on, ATC tells us to turn right direct IROC. So we hit FPL to pull up the flight plan, hit the cursor on the right hand knob, scroll with the outer knob to IROC, then hit direct enter enter. Now we're navigating direct to IROC. Now, assuming ATC clears us without staying straight in, we'll need to do the full course reversal at IROC. This will involve flying over IROC, making a teardrop entry by flying about a 360 heading for one minute, then making a right turn around a 224 to pick up the inbound course. This is all very well and we can brief it that way, but our GPS is on a different page. By selecting the Menard transition as we did earlier, we told the unit that we will definitely not be doing the course reversal, and that won't change just because we're now navigating to IROC. If we want to tell the unit that we're doing the course reversal, we'll need to either suspend the approach after IROC by pressing OBS, or a better idea, we'll have to reload the approach, this time selecting the IROC transition. Now on the flight plan page, we'll see that the hold is depicted after IROC, and the unit will have us fly a teardrop entry just as we briefed it. This issue isn't specific to older units like the 430. Even the G1000 and others will have this issue because it's not really a bug. The unit is doing exactly what you told it to do. The Menor transition won't have a course reversal there because it's not supposed to be there. There are two takeaways here. The first is that it's always best to coordinate any approach transition early with ATC. They may ask something like, where do you want to start the approach from to figure that out? Or we can request an approach with a specific transition on our first call up with the final approach controller. In this case, it would be Minneapolis Center. In our example here, we didn't ask for and weren't assigned an approach transition, so we made a guess, and were then later given a different transition than the one we guessed. The other takeaway is that when flying an approach with a course reversal, always make sure your GPS is on the same page as you are as to whether or not you'll actually be flying it. Check out the flight plan page. If there's a fix titled hold after the transition, you'll be doing it. If not, you won't. There's a real danger of confusion if there's a conflict between what you want to do and what the GPS is expecting, especially if you're using autopilot following the GPS guidance. If all else fails, be prepared to either disable autopilot and hand fly the transition, or at least switch over to heading mode and fly your entry that way, if your GPS is out of the loop. 